What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight. <clears throat> no, that's that's not right. Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking. Welcome back to yet another journey here on T Martin Airlines and uh, I'm excited. We've got something a little bit different today. It's a little risky, but you've already, you know, signed away your rights and and we're not liable for any uh, medical incurrences that you may have on this trip. We are going to be attempting to land on the shortest commercial runway in the world. So far in this series, we've done a lot of trips. So like we're, we're taking off from an airport, we're flying over interesting terrain, we're, you know, checking out points of interest and stuff, and then we're landing. And so I think that's going to be like a, a big part of this series. I think that's what we're going to do most. But I was looking through the menus and I found that they've got some pretty interesting activities and challenges and stuff to do. So they've got these bush trips where you have to navigate and stop at numerous different airports. I'm talking some of these had like 14 to 20 plus legs and you're going over long, long distances and stopping and refueling and then going again. So something like that could be kind of cool. But I want to check out one of the landing challenges today. So we are going to be doing an epic challenge and we are going to be going to the island of Saba in the South Caribbean. So this is a Dutch Caribbean island. It's south of St. Martin, northwest of St. Kitts down there. I've spent a lot of time in this part of the world. I've been to St. Martin quite a few times, been to St. Kitts quite a few times. Probably saw Saba outside the airplane window, but I've never been there. But um, yeah, it's, it's a tiny little island with a tiny little runway, the shortest commercial runway in the world at 1,312 feet long. It's got a cliff side on one side. It's got a cliff and water on the other three sides. You, you don't have any room for air here. This is extremely treacherous. We probably are not qualified for this, but like I said, you signed the waiver, so let's get into it. Oh man, we've got to come in bank left. Try to get your wheels down at the very start of the runway. Slam on the brakes before you run out of it. Looks like we want to approach with about 130 knots. We want to be landing at about 105 knots. Whew. Captain Martin is in control of the yoke here, and let's let's see what we can do, dude. I would imagine this is probably going to take a few tries, but uh, we're going to try our best. I'm going to go ahead and trim us uh, trim us a bit here. Obviously, we want to start losing a bit of altitude. Where are we currently at? We zoom in here. Uh, our airspeed's about 185 knots, which is pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie. We're at about 2,200 feet and climbing. Okay, so we wanna, we wanna definitely, definitely not do that. So we're gonna have to go around the right, the right peak here, make a, a pretty sharp left-hand turn, and see if we can set this thing down. Let's take a look at the, the plane outside. I just wanna see it. It's a beautiful bird, man. All right, we're, we're gonna try to land this thing inside. Oh, I, I see the tip of the runway here. All right, I feel like we're coming in way too hot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut power, majorly cut power here. This is, dude. This is this is not good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, I'm gonna put the the flaps. Do all the flaps and the landing gear. Landing gear is down. I feel like we're cutting <laughs> this quarter pretty pretty close. We're at about 180. Airspeed is slowing. Come on, baby. We, uh, we're coming in a bit low. Coming in very low. I think we might have wanted to kind of, kind of, you know, go around the outside a little bit more. I feel like it's going to be very hard to to line this thing up from this angle. Oh, this <laughs> this approach is wonky, sir. Um, it's it's not it's not looking good. All right, cut the power. Power back on, power back on, go, 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 go. Pull up, landing gear up, flaps up. Okay, so I mean, not not the worst start in the world. I'm thinking let's let's try to land it from outside the plane first. Obviously that's gonna be easier. We're gonna be able to see more. We're gonna be able to, you know, just get a feel for it. I'm not the best pilot in the world. So being able to see what's going on outside of the plane is gonna be very helpful. And uh, then we'll see if we can take that and move inside the cockpit. And first one was it bad. We didn't, we didn't die. We didn't crash the plane. We, I think we could have probably tried to go go around again. I would imagine in real life our landing gear probably would have snapped, though. You can't really drift planes. You can't really land sideways like that. So, uh, lesson learned. We're definitely going to... We're going to start backing off the speed a bit right now. We've got to, got to get this thing trimmed down so we can start losing some altitude. And we definitely want to kind of swing a little bit further out to the right here. 
to be able to give us more time to line it up. I feel like we kind of tried to cut that corner way, way too sharp, and that's why we messed it up. I love all the cloud cover, dude. This is this is gorgeous. Haven't really used much in, in terms of clouds so far in this game, so this this looks good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, I'm gonna put the landing gear down, and I'm gonna put our flaps down for uh, for landing. Landing gear going down. Beautiful work. We're definitely taking a much softer angle of attack here on the runway. Technically, angle of attack is where our nose is pointed, but I'm talking about our, our horizontal movement. And this is actually looking pretty good. I would imagine maybe start to try to break, take, take off the throttle a bit more, not break. Not breaking yet. Coming in here, come on baby, come on, come on, come on. Straighten her up. Throttles all the way off. Dude, this is tough. We're dealing with the wind and stuff. Here we go. These are... Ooh. Ooh. Still coming in a bit hot. Shoot! We just have too much speed! I, I can't stop it! Alright, go around again. I feel like our approach was better on that one, but... I think we were much closer to landing it the first time around, as much as it pains me to say that. All right, everything down, all the way down. Let's let's get these flaps all the way down. We're gonna get the landing gear down. My throttle's off. I mean, like all the way off. We could kill the engines. I don't know if we're gonna have enough to be able to float that far though. We might actually be able to make it. Who knows? Got a little, a little burst of speed there. Engines, everything all the way off. Everything all the way off here. Come on. It worked the first time we did it. Oh! Give me a little bit more, Sally. Come on. You got this. We're stalling. Use the rudders. No! You damaged your landing gear. We were close. I'm just sending it, bro. We're, we're gonna go for it. I've, I've got confidence. Probably shouldn't, but we're, we're gonna go for the interior cockpit landing here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull our throttle back very, very early. And then we're just gonna start diving here. We obviously wanna lose a lot of our airspeed. I mean, it wants us to approach at about 130. We're at 160 right now. So I'm thinking, let's just go ahead and put our flaps down that's going to dramatically slow us down so that's going to get us down to 130 going to go a little bit a little bit beyond that and then we can put them back up basically i'm pretending here that you know not that i fly privately but you know we, we were on a, a private flight vacation that I, I somebody sponsored who knows and uh the pilot passed out so it's chels and the two dogs in the back maybe bella's there too and we're gonna have to climb up here. I'm like, yo, I got some flight sim experience. I got this. Let me just hop in the cockpit. And we're we're gonna land this thing. So we're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to do our best here. So we're gonna make sure we give a wide berth to the outside. Again, we want to watch that airspeed. We're really starting to pick it up again. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the flaps down again. I'm gonna put the landing gear down as well. Why not? Flaps back up. Definitely want to keep speed, at least a little bit of speed, but not too much. Try to make visual contact with the runway. We can use our center screen over here. That'll kind of show us. We probably want to bank a little bit more to the right to give us a better run up. I'm going to kill all power to the engines right now. We're going to keep them on just idling. And uh, let's, let's see what we can do. Try to line this up as perfectly as possible. Dude, that's such a beautiful island. Hopefully we can make it there in one piece. All right, gonna begin our turn here, begin our approach. Looks like we're fairly close to that water, so we gotta be careful about that. Ooh, shoot. We went a little bit too far, but that's fine. We got time to make up for it. That's why we went so wide. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put our flaps down again. And I think, I think we just want to lead the flaps down and if we have to, we'll throttle it out to get us a little bit more speed. But I, I don't, I don't think, I think speed's our enemy here. Obviously we've seen that. We've got to get low. Come on, baby. The thing is, if this was a longer runway, I could definitely do it. It's just you, you have to place the plane so it, it drops 
directly on the end of that runway. Otherwise, you don't have time. Shoot, we ended up coming a little bit too far left. Come on, baby. Stall. It's a good thing you got eight more lives. We've killed all the power. We've got our flaps down, our airspeed's down below 100. We're almost at stalling. It seems like our altitude is, is pretty good. We still might be a little bit high, so I'm gonna drop it a bit more. <gasps> pull up, pull up, pull up. Let it drop, pull up, let it drop, pull up. We're on the ground, we're on the ground. Break, 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 break. Let's go! Oh, we did it! 466,983. Our landing position, our precision was pretty good. Our ground roll landing smoothness was a 537 feet per minute, which is a 99, which is smack down the middle. Fifth in the world. I mean, I don't think there are too many people that have tried this yet, but fifth out of, t fifth out of 10 is not bad. Dude, I was sweating. Whew. So it was all about the speed. Honestly, we were just coming in with way too much speed. That last one, I had put the landing gear and the flaps down way early and I had us at about 10% throttle all the way until like the very last few seconds and then we cut it off. Speed is, uh, it's good, but it's also killer when you've, you've got a, a short runway like that. Dude, holy cow. Putting that idea in my head that I was like having to control the plane just really kind of freaked me out a little bit. But uh, man, there you guys have it. So let me know if you guys want to see some more of these. I'd totally be down to uh, to take them on. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of interesting ones. We've got Sydney here. We've got JFK and a giant jumbo jet. Jackson and a PJ. I just thought that was interesting. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I like our trips. I, I think our trips are going to be our main thing. But if you guys wanted to try to knock out some of these famous landings and even eventually if we start to get decent, some of the, the strong wind challenges, it could be, could be kind of interesting. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.